During this challenging time in which we are living, it can sometimes be difficult to lead with hope. St. John Paul II reminds us that humanity must have hope, for Jesus is the living gospel, the good news. Jesus gives us comfort and strength. This first week of Advent, we light the candle of hope. This candle assures us that we can have hope, hope that God will fulfill his prophecies declared in the Old Testament. This purple candle of royalty symbolizes God's kingship and reign. Hope is not simply wishful thinking. Hope exists as a trust placed in God. God has never failed us, and that is why we have hope for the future. God will bring us redemption. Hope helps us during times of stress. During Advent, as we wait, prepare, and hope, we can be confident that Jesus will help us through these times just as he did that first Christmas. That first Christmas gave us the gift of hope. Hope, an optimistic state of mind, an expectation for a positive outcome, something better. Just as hope can bring anticipation to the future, it can influence the way we feel in the present. Although the past few years have presented us with difficult situations, hope reminds us that we have Jesus as our strength. So let's change the outlook. Let hope give us inspiration to change the word hopeless to hopeful. By worshiping God our King, experiencing adoration, and being in attendance at Mass. Let hope change negativity into positivity. Of course, there are going to be hardships and bumps along the way, but we need to make a point of living for the purpose and positivity. Let hope show us opportunities to serve others and give thanks to God for all he has given us. Let's allow hope to celebrate even the small things in life. Let us celebrate what we have and can do instead of complaining about what is missing and we are not allowed to do. During the first week of Advent, let your hearts be glad. Let God's word be your shield. Place your trust in the Lord. Hope in the Lord. Feel his love through the Holy Spirit. All week long, let us follow what is told to us in Romans chapter 12, verse 12. Be rejoicing in hope, patient in tribulation, and continuing steadfastly in prayer. The Pope has proclaimed that hope does not disappoint because it is founded in the word of God. Hope tells us that our lives have meaning. During Advent, we are witnesses to the Blessed Virgin Mary, the mother of hope, and all because she said yes. Let us follow her lead and place our hope and trust in God. Let us say yes. <laughs>